One of the biggest problems that people have when they're just starting out in an Amazon wholesale business is finding suppliers to open accounts with. I'm going to show you really quickly how to use AMZ Analyzer to find those suppliers. Stay tuned. What's up everybody, Todd Welch here from The Entrepreneur Adventure and today I'm going to show you how you can for as little as $10 use AMZ Analyzer to find and start finding suppliers for your Amazon wholesale business. What I would really appreciate is if you use the link down below if you're going to go ahead and purchase AMZ Analyzer. That way I'll get a small cut of that sale at no additional cost to you. It'll help me make more videos just like this one for you to help you and your Amazon business. Or just go to the link right here on the screen and that will get you AMZ Analyzer as well through that affiliate link. I'd really appreciate it. And also don't forget down below, click that subscribe button and then click the little bell to get notified of more videos like this. And if you have any comments or questions about this video, make sure you post those down in the comments. Other than that, Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so of course the first thing you're gonna to have to do is purchase AMZ Analyzer. And you can do that by going to the link that I'm putting on the screen right here, or click the link down below in the description. And the pricing on AMZ Analyzer as of recording this video is as little as $10 for a two-day pass. $20 for a five day pass, or $29 for a monthly reoccurring subscription to the software so you can use it anytime that you need. But you can purchase any one of these and that'll get you access to the software. Now, once you purchase the software, you'll have to go ahead and install it. Uh, this is a Windows only program, so keep that in mind. You're gonna have to have a Windows PC or if you're on a Mac, you're gonna have to have uh, Windows install using Boot Camp or some other method to be able to use this program. Once you get it installed though, it's pretty easy to install. It just walk you through the installer and that's going to bring you up then to a screen that's similar to this. The first step that you're going to have to do is connect it to Amazon and you do that in the settings tab here. So if you just click on settings, that's going to bring you to the tab where you can enter in your Amazon Marketplace API credentials, they're called. You can see here that I have mine entered for the U.S. market, but they also have for Canada, Mexico, UK, Germany, Italy, France, and Spain as of the recording. Um, how to get your API credentials, you can just click on this How to Obtain One link here. And that takes you over to their support center. Unfortunately, it doesn't link directly to the article. So if you want, I'll put that link down below in the description as well. So you can just click on it there. Um, but as of the recording, once you get over to the knowledge base, the third article down, adding API credentials, is the one that you're looking for. And this article will walk you through step by step on how to get the information that it needs to connect the program into your Amazon account. All right, so you're gonna enter your seller ID and the MWS auth token here, and you'll get that from following these step-by-step -step directions here. Once you have that, uh, this is where the fun starts. So you can start finding suppliers for your wholesale business. And whether you're looking in a specific niche or you're staying more general, um, this will work really well for you. Uh, it'll especially work well if you're looking in a niche because you can search for that niche to find the products. So what you're gonna wanna do to use this method is click on this button here where it says browser. And that's just gonna open up another window here which is basically just the Amazon page but you'll see up above here, it has some buttons, uh, forward, back, stop, 103 products found on this page, scrape next page automatically and go. So whatever we search for in this browser window now, AMZ Analyzer is gonna look for all the products that are on those pages and grab them and pull them into the program. 
So let's say just for an example, if you were wanting to go into the knitting niche, we could search for knitting. And now you can see here one of 48 of over 40,000 results. Obviously, if we wanted to manually, we could look through each one of these to find a supplier, but that would take forever. So what we want to do is make sure scrape next page automatically is checked because that way AMZ Analyzer is not only going to find the products on this page, which right here it found 75 products just on this page, it's also going to grab as many of the next pages as it can. Uh, so very similar to you going to the bottom and clicking next manually, AMZ Analyzer is going to do that automatically for you. And so with that checked, go ahead and click go. And you can see it brings us back to this page, but now right here under browser, it says amazon.com knitting. And with that there, we can then go ahead and hit run. And AMZ Analyzer is gonna go out there, grab all the products from that first page, try to get the next page, the next page, the next page, as many as it possibly can. Sometimes it'll get a couple hundred products. Sometimes it'll get a couple thousand products depending on the search. I'm not exactly sure what the limit is there, but it really varies uh, from search to search. So you can play with that uh, to find different products. You can see here it topped out at about 400 and it's analyzing those. It's grabbing the information from Amazon, grabbing all the people that are selling it, and it's gonna put all that information right here into the results tab. So if we click over to that results tab, you can see this page is starting to fill up with products. Down here in the bottom left, you can see that right now it's analyzed 478 of 453 products. It's still processing. So what we'll do is we'll just wait for that to get done and then we can go through filtering some of this to find some potential brands that we could sell uh, or purchase wholesale. Okay, so that is done. Uh, but one thing that I'm noticing here is most of these are like DVDs, mobile applications, eBooks and books, Audible, things like that. These are a lot of products that we're probably not gonna be able to sell or not sell profitably. So what I'm gonna go do is go back to the browser again and knitting again, like we were already at. So this is a perfect learning opportunity here. And I'm gonna narrow it down so that I don't get those books and Kindles and stuff like that. Over here on the left, I'm just gonna click on arts, crafts, and sewing department. That's just the general, most general category that knitting is going to belong to. So I'm going to click on that category. So that's going to eliminate most of those books and Kindles and stuff like that. And then I'm going to hit go again and run again and let that process that new information. So that worked out perfectly, a perfect teaching opportunity there for you. Back to the results page, we will let that go and wait for that to finish up. Okay, so I actually stopped this search for the interest of uh, completing this video because you can see here 930 of 5,382. It just kept going up finding more and more products. Like I said, sometimes it finds thousands, sometimes it finds hundreds. So um, pretty cool example of how many products it can pull in. Um, but so now we have our products. Now we need to narrow them down and find ones that meet the criteria for us to potentially sell. Uh, so the first thing that I do is narrow it down by estimated number of sales. Now keep in mind, this is just a guesstimate uh, to give you an idea. So it's not going to be exact, but it should be in the ballpark, so to speak. So I like to filter that. Let's just go uh, by 25 just for a good round number there. Um, you could do higher or lower depending on what you prefer. I'm gonna do 25. So now we're only looking at products with 25 estimated sales or higher. And then I scroll over here and I want total offers 
filter by that of four or more and we'll just change that to 999 and we'll close that and we want four or more because that way other people are selling this product most likely so if other people have been able to open accounts then it's more likely that you'll be able to open accounts if there's only one seller or two sellers on the listing it's probably either a private label brand and uh, the brand is selling the product or it's uh, just a product and the brand that makes it is selling the, it themselves or a company has an exclusive agreement with the company and they're the only person who can sell those products. So the more people who are selling the product, the more likely you'll be able to open an account to sell the product as well. So now we'll scroll back over here the next thing I want to do is add an additional column here that's not here by default. And you can right click, column chooser. And then I like to bring in the brand here so we can see what the brand name is here easily. And so now what I can do since I have it narrowed down a little bit is I can use this checkbox in the upper left corner to check everything that is remaining. Um, so I had 930 results that I had let it download. Of that 930 after the filter there's 257 of them remaining. And we can then go ahead and click on show reviews and Amazon data. And what that's gonna pull in is the number of reviews that are on that product, but even more important, if Amazon is selling that product or not. Um, now this is not 100% effective. Occasionally it gets this wrong, so you'll wanna double check it, but it's gonna help us narrow these 257 products a little bit smaller. So while that's running, you can see it's starting to pull in. And if it's got this check mark and it's red, that means it found that Amazon was selling that product. And so those ones we want to weed out. So we don't want to compete directly with Amazon because often they're not going to give you the buy box. Uh, they're not going to allow you to sell anything if they're selling on the listing. It's not always 100% true, but more often than not it is true. So I just try to steer away from those listings where Amazon is selling. So what I'm gonna do is click on the little filter here again and uncheck this is sold by Amazon. So now you can see all of those red ones with the checkbox disappeared and we only have the ones that are green which means that it did not find that Amazon was selling. So we're gonna let that go ahead and finish processing. You can see here 198 of 257, so it's almost done. Okay, so now that is all done. And I have mine already sorted by brand, but if yours is not, you can just click on a column, any column, and it'll sort by that column. So I sort by brand, just so I can easily see um, if there's a whole bunch of products by the same brand, so I'm not just clicking through to check each individual one. But from here, what you can do now is Addy is possibly a product uh, or a brand that you can start selling. So what I would do is click on these Amazon links. And so once you're at the page here, a few things that you can quickly look at to see if this is potentially a good product to sell. Number one, just make sure it has a decent amount of reviews because while this is often quite accurate, um, this is saying 30, estimated 30 sales per month, it's not always perfectly accurate. So you're just gonna wanna double check and make sure that it has a good number of reviews. And also make sure that it's three and a half stars or higher because you don't wanna be selling a product that's really bad and you're gonna get a lot of returns on. So 98 reviews, that's good. Um, next thing is just look at the sellers that we have here and make sure there's a variety of sellers. And you can see lots of different seller names here. So that is a good sign that there's multiple people who are selling this product. So you could potentially open up an account with this brand and sell this product as well. And then uh, last but not least, what I really like to look at 
is the Keepa graph. Um, if you don't have the Keepa plugin, I recommend installing that. Uh, you, I'll have a link down below for you to do that. It is $15 a month, I believe it is currently, to uh, purchase it to be able to see the Amazon data, which is the key thing that I look for. Um, if Amazon has ever sold this before, this graph is going to show up a section of it in uh, orange. I just pulled up the Roku Express here so you can see what I mean. So here you can see that this is all orange, which means Amazon is selling on the listing. So that's really important to know. You can see that Amazon has never sold this listing, which is good. So you don't have to worry about Am competing with Amazon. The other thing that I really look for over the last few months is that the price is relatively flat. You don't want to see a bunch of spikes and drops uh, because if the price is all over the place, you don't want it to be profitable today and then maybe next month it's no longer profitable. So you're going to want to look and make sure there's no dips and also make sure that right now the price isn't at a high and that it's profitable right now, but it won't be later. So that's very important to look at. And then also this green line, uh, the price, by the way, is this blue line. And then this green line here is the sales rank. So again, you're going to need to purchase it to get that information. But uh, you're going to want to make sure the sales rank is relatively a straight line across as well. So if you drew a straight line in the middle here, we're running at about 50 or 60,000. So this product sells relatively similarly um, throughout the last three months. So we don't have a bunch of dips and drops in that as well. So it's going to continue to sell at a steady pace. And that's very important as well. So all in all, this listing looks uh, very good, like it's potentially a very good product for us to be able to sell. So I would go ahead and contact this brand and see if I could open up an account. Then I would come back to AMZ Analyzer, go to the next brand, do the exact same thing, and just rinse and repeat for all of these different brands that we just found from this search. Once I'm done with that, I would go back open the browser, make a new search, and start that process all over again, and just rinse and repeat, and you should be able to find plenty of brands to be able to sell on Amazon. Okay, so there you have it, AMZ Analyzer and how to quickly find wholesale suppliers for you to try to open accounts with and get some profitable products to get your wholesale business going. That's the hardest thing I find in everyone that I talk to that I have coaching calls with. That is the hardest thing is to find those suppliers and start finding to get that ball rolling. So right away, make sure down below you hit subscribe and then you click that little bell to get notified of more videos just like this because when I find new tactics, I'm always posting them, new videos and such like that. I'll also pop it up right over here so you can click the subscribe button right over here to be able to get more videos like this. Use those affiliate links down below if you purchase AMZ Analyzer. That would be really appreciated. And if you want more one-on-one -on -one help, I do one-on-one -on -one coaching calls as well with a lot of people and have had a lot of success in the past and a lot of fun doing that. You can find that link down below as well to purchase your one-on-one -on -one video coaching call where I can walk you through step-by-step -step and answer whatever questions you need answered to get your business going. So that is it for this video. This is Todd Welch with The Entrepreneur Adventure signing off. Happy selling, everybody.